So now starting with the discussion of various types of melanomas, mainly the cutaneous melanoma, right? So the first one is superficial spreading melanoma. Superficial spreading melanoma, the name itself says that it is going to be superficial and it is going to spread in the various areas surrounding, right? Most common it is seen in Caucasian group of individuals. Kis mein dikhega? The Caucasian group are the different or the individuals mainly considered to be the in the European countries right so Caucasian group of individuals may most commonly seen is superficial spreading melanoma it accounts 65% of cutaneous melanoma matlab jitte bhi types of melanoma hai usme se 65% of cases are of superficial spreading melanoma they are going to show radical growth phase for many years starting they will, they will be in radical growth phase then Moving on, they are going to shift to vertical growth phase, but that will be after a long period of time. These are also known as pre-malignant melanosis or you can also call it as pegetoid melanoma in C2. Kya 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 sakte hai isko pre-malignant melanosis or pegetoid melanoma in C2. Next is tan, brown or black colored or admixed lesion can be seen. Jo bhi iska lesion rahega that will be a tan or brown in color or black in color or it will be mixture of both the lesions are mainly seen on the skin of back this is the most common site skin of back is the most common site then after the head neck chest and lastly the extremities that is hands and the legs right so most common sign most common site can see have back so when they are moving on from radical phase to the vertical growth phase so what will change? Firstly they are going to be as a macular lesion that means patches will be discolorations onto the skin surface with irregular borders right they are not going to well defined they are going to be irregular borders and patches on the skin surface right so then when they are moving from radical growth phase that means whatever macular patches are radical growth phase and vertical growth phase may shift they are going to show increase in size superficial spreading as I said increase in size change in color nodularity will be present and sometimes even ulceration can be seen nodularity means on that lesion you will also see presence of nodules so that is moving of superficial spreading melanoma from radical growth phase to Vertical growth phase. आपको क्या याद रखना है? Caucasian group of individuals में most commonly seen initially in radical growth phase accounts for 65% of cutaneous melanoma, also known as pre-malignant melanosis or pegetoid melanoma in C2. Next is tan brown or black colored lesion or admixed lesion of all the colors mainly seen on the skin of back. Then you have neck, head, neck and just right when they are moving from radical growth phase to vertical growth phase they will show increase in size change in color and nodularity along with sometimes ulceration this was about superficial spreading melanoma next moving on to the second category that is nodular melanoma now again the name itself says that it is going to show a nodular lesion which will be again showing discoloration of various colors or mixed colors right so this accounts for 13% of cutaneous melanomas. ये क्या था 65%. This accounts for 13% of cutaneous melanomas only showing vertical growth phase. They do not have any radical growth phase present. Right? They are going to directly start with vertical growth phase. They will have nodules which will be sharply delineated. That means you can very much identify a nodule which is well defined. With varying pigmentation, colors of varying pigmentation like pink or black in color or mix of both the colors. Most common in skin of back, head and neck for men. Now regarding the site of occurrence of nodular melanoma, they are going to have gender predilection. Matlab, there are various sites for different gender. For men, back, head and neck are considered to be the most common site. And for various sites of the skin, there is gender predilection. So this is all about nodular melanoma. Next, moving on to the third category, that is lentigo maligna melanoma. Now this accounts for 10% of cutaneous melanoma. This was 65. 
सिस्टर्टीन एंड लेंटिगो मेलेग्ना मेलानोमा अकाउंट फॉर टेन परसेंट नाउ वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ लेंटिगो लेंटिगो मीन्स अ क्लस्टर ऑफ पिगमेंटेड स्पॉट्स ऑन द स्किन राइट छोटे छोटे क्लस्टर ऑफ पिगमेंटेड स्पॉट्स विच अकर्स ड्यू टू कलेक्शन ऑफ पिगमेंटेड सेल बिनीथ द स्किन ऐसे छोटे छोटे क्लस्टर ऑफ पिगमेंटेड स्पॉट्स ऑन टू द स्किन यू गाइस कैन सी सो फर्स्ट इन द रेडिकल ग्रोथ फेज दे आर ऑल्सो नोन एज लेंटिगो मेलिग्ना क्या कहेंगे सिर्फ लेंटिगो मेलिग्ना यू डोंट हैव टू एड मेलेनोमा इन दिस राइट सो इन रेडिकल ग्रोथ फेज दे हैव टू नेम्स फर्स्ट इज लेंटिगो मेलिग्ना और यू कैन ऑल्सो हैव मेलानोटिक फ्रेकल ऑफ हचिंसन वाई दिस नेम फ्रेकल हैज गिवन बिकॉज दिस रिजम्बल्स ए फ्रेकल फ्रेकल मीन्स सेम अ कलेक्शन ऑफ पिगमेंटेड स्पॉट्स ऑन टू द स्किन अब इसका लीजन कैसा रहेगा इट विल बी अ मैक्यूलर लीजन दैट मीन्स डिस्कलरेशन ऑन द स्किन सर्फेस और मैक्यूल प्रेजेंट ऑन द मेलार स्किन मेलार स्किन मीन्स अ मेलार बोन की जो स्किन रहेगी उस पर सीन मेनली इन द मिडल एज ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल इट इज ऑल्सो सीन इन एल्डरली ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल बट most commonly macular type lesion on the skin of malar bone in middle age group of people mainly affecting the caucasian group of individual with most common occurring in women women are most commonly affected and age is 58 years of age other study also says that 70 years is considered to be the mean age but you can consider 58 years as the most common इज तो लेंटिको मेलिग्ना में क्या याद रखना है आपको एक मैक्यूलर लीजन है या फ्रेकल टाइप लीजन है विच इज अकरिंग ऑन द स्किन ऑफ मेलार बोन राइट इन मिडल एज ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल समटाइम्स ऑल्सो इन एल्डरली एज ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल मेनली अफेक्टिंग द कॉकेशियन ग्रुप ऑफ इंडिविजुअल्स विथ मोस्ट कॉमन इन वुमेन विथ फिफ्टी एट ईयर्स ऑफ एज राइट so now when the lesion is going to move from radical growth phase to vertical growth phase then it is going to turn a bit vary it is going to vary in the discoloration it is going to have nodular eruptions or ulceration and it is it is named as lentigo maligna melanoma so the radical growth phase is named as melanotic freckle of hutchinson or lentigo maligna and the vertical growth phase is named as lentigo maligna मेलानोमा इसमें जो भी रीजन होगा इट इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज मतलब इसका जो पिगमेंटेशन है वो बढ़ जाएगा नॉड्यूलर इरेप्शन दिखेंगे या तो अल्सरेशन आपको दिखेंगे सो द मोर इंटेंस फॉर्म ऑफ रीजन इज सीन इन वर्टिकल ग्रोथ फेस फिफ्टी थ्री परसेंट ऑफ केसेस ऑफ रेडिकल ग्रोथ फेस आर कन्वर्टेड टू वर्टिकल ग्रोथ फेस आउट ऑफ ऑल द केसेस ऑफ लेंटिको मेलेग्ना फिफ्टी थ्री परसेंट ऑफ रेडिकल ग्रोथ इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू वर्टिकल ग्रोथ फेस सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट लेंटिको मेलिग्ना मेलानोमा आपको क्या याद रखना है फ्रेकल टाइप लीजन और लेंटिको मेलिग्ना इन रेडिकल ग्रोथ फेस लेंटिको मेलिग्ना मेलानोमा इन वर्टिकल ग्रोथ फेस यूनिट टू रिमेम्बर थ्री एम थ्री एम कंसिस्ट ऑफ मैक्यूलर मेलार एंड मिडल एज ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल मेनली कॉकेशियन ग्रुप मोस्ट कॉमन इन वुमेन फिफ्टी एट ईयर्स ऑफ is now next is acral lentiginous melanoma what it is acral lentiginous melanoma right now the acral lentiginous melanoma means acral matlab jo bhi peripheral parts of the body who are like limbs fingers legs or toes right limbs mein mainly the palms and in legs you have soles along with toes and fingers are most commonly affected in acral lentiginous melanomas 10% of cases of melanomas consist of this type in wide group of individuals jitne bhi melanoma ke cases hai usme se 10% of cases in whites are of this and 50% of cases are of this in black and asian people right the lesion is going to be a macular lentiginous pigmented area around the nodule so you will find a nodule along with that you will have a macular that is a pigmented lesion or a discoloration of irregular margin lentiginous pigmented area around the nodule when you over you apply a mechanical stress onto that then it will lead to erosion and ulceration of that lesion right jo bhi macular lentiginous pigmented area rahega ek nodule ke taraf aaju baaju or you can say so whenever you apply mechanical stress to that nodule there will be erosion or ulceration of that 
Now, do you know, there is one more term related to the acral lentiginous melanoma that is subangal melanoma or subangal melanomas. So, these are going to be present in the nail bed or in the skin of the nail bed, right? Nail skin, niche, jo bhi skin rehti hai usme. So, often they are confused as subangal hematomas, but mainly they are subangal melanomas and they are considered to be the more severe form of acral lentiginous melanomas right they are going to develop very rapidly and enter into the vertical growth phase so they are more dangerous so subangal melanomas which are somewhat relatable to the subangal hematomas right so this was all about various types of malignant melanoma next we will discuss about the oral manifestations of this condition